cues and you're on set with me. This young lady is powerful. They have been telling me about this young lady for a long time. Sometimes I do like a throw coat and a lemon ginger, or sometimes I will literally just have hot water, lemon, and honey. And then sometimes I'll do just like ginger, just ginger, hot water, and honey. If it's like a really good stretch of time where I'm like, when I have a morning routine, tea is a part of it. Hey lady, you still sleeping? Answering emails and doing the damn thing. I was gonna tell you, I'm about to send you these um, parking things for tonight so you guys can park in the artist parking lot. I don't even know how old I was when it happened, maybe like two. Um, I got strep throat, tonsillitis, and scarlet fever at the same time. And so I was left with like a really, really raspy, raspy voice. It took my mom a minute, but like through the years, like she nurtured my voice back to like its full potential, I guess. And I don't even remember what she was giving me, mind you, because I was like a baby, but she did it on her own. And yeah, like even now my voice is, it's more sensitive, but I also feel like the rasp that I have gives it a little character, so I don't mind it. The anticipation is bubbling, like, I'm like doing weird things with my hands because like I'm just anticipating, you know, like what tonight is gonna bring. I get nervous randomly. Like it's really always about like, dang, like what if I don't hit these notes? Like what if I am not on my shit tonight and I just I fail? It's my dad's first time coming to see me. My little sister, Inaya, it'll be her first time too. And then my nieces as well. I'm excited that they're gonna be there. My nieces are like my best friends. We're like a family full of women. I have one brother. Yeah, one brother and uh, seven sisters. But my mom was like the pillar. My, my dad too. They both always instilled like the importance of community and like keeping a close knit unit. Look at, oh, you missed it. You missed the freeze frame. It was like that. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to dinner um, tomorrow night. And Sazi needs an outfit. And when you need an outfit quick, fast, and in a hurry, well, you know you're gonna look good. Two options. The alley or the floss. My sisters, Kaba and Sazi, are usually with me throughout like every step of the process. They're also in every single one of my music videos. Like I've never shot a music video that they're not in. And my sister Sazi and Kaba dance with me. They'll be dancing tonight. They're like very, very involved. I feel like I always was gonna be in music because like our parents were just very musically inclined and like music was just such a big part of our everyday lives. I just didn't know in what arena and like to what capacity, but I always knew I was gonna sing. I found in the way that my dad maneuvers through the world and like through his relationships, not everybody is a catch-all friend. I learned that from him. Like you cannot give yourself to absolutely everybody. You have to save your truest self and your truest form to those who you know are really for you. In LA specifically, a lot of people come here with intentions and like with a, a motive and just with the attitude of like, I'm gonna do anything to get where I, where I need to be or where I feel like I want to be. It's a lot of people who move here that you have to like, keep yourself away from, but for sure, like, um, cleanse your energy of, too. Cause they everywhere. I feel like my voice feels a little better, so I'm a little more calm than before. But it's still, you know, just the hustle and bustle of the day. Usually, like, when me and my sisters and my DJ is okay, when we do our makeup, it's completely silent in the room, because, like, it takes a lot of concentration. So that's usually when I, like, 
wind down, but um, I'm gonna find a moment. In creating this album, I want fans to take away just the importance of being patient with yourself. I intentionally put weight at the end of Flora and Fauna because I was reminding myself to be patient because I'm probably the most impatient person that I know. But music has humbled me and like made me, forced me to be patient. And now I'm like starting to see the benefits of that patience. But for so long, like I was fighting against it, of sitting still and just being quiet. So yeah, I would say the importance of being patient, all that is for you is coming to you. And th those things that are not for you, like they they weren't for you for a specific reason. You know what I mean? The love that you want is on its way. The you that you want to be, it's on its way. It's low key already there in you. That's all. That's all I want them to know. If you could wait.